Hi, I'm Elise Mauro from Claypons Hospital, Jasmine Ward. I'm the acting manager of Jasmine Ward at the moment. Hi, my name is Cooper and I'm a clinical team leader on Waterloo Ward in Broadmoor Hospital. As a practice development nurse at West London NHS Trust, I am fortunate and blessed to be able to go into various areas and support colleagues on the front line. My name is Ken Wokta, I'm a clinical nurse specialist and I've been at Broadmoor since uh, September 1996, so probably over 25 years of service here. Uh, my name is Innocentia Mashamba. I'm a ward manager for Jubilee Ward. I am Nikki Miller. I'm a nurse consultant. My name is Christopher Duval. I'm the manager for the crisis assessment team in Ealing. Hi, my name's Hannah. I'm a clinical nurse manager working on Euston Ward in Broadmoor Hospital. My name is Kayode Idris. I was until recently a ward manager. My name's Debbie Woods and I started in the hospital just under 20 years ago um, and I'm currently in the reduced and restrictive practice. Uh, my name's Craig Valentine, I'm a mental health nurse and I'm the team manager of Ealing Southall Mint. I became a nurse because I've worked in healthcare from a very young age and I was privileged to work with some really good nurses that I've looked up to. I believe the most important part is giving people hope. I feel that's what I do. I give patients hope. They come into the service looking for ways to uh, improve their lives. I've always wanted to help people. I've always wanted to work within the health environment and that's why I became a mental health nurse. I've always wanted to be a nurse since I was a little girl. As I was growing up, uh, the passion grew with me as well and I managed to go to university and became a nurse. I lived in Africa for, um, until my very late teens and I think for two years or so. I lived on a mission. Yeah, and the mission at the hospital, you know, because these were communities that were quite afflicted by um, tropical diseases like malaria. As kids around in that mission, everybody aspired to be a nurse. And at that time, as early as that, I made the decision that I wanted to be a nurse. My very best friend had issues with mental illness. My mom, who was a nurse at the time, was the only person who could provide me with containment and some education around mental health. I got into nursing really from about age 14. I didn't actually become a nurse then, but in through the Girl Guides, I had to do my caring badge. I came here in England in uh, 2003 and started in one of the care homes and developed myself to go in NHS Trust afterwards. I have witnessed the value of mental health care throughout school, um, throughout my education, and I really wanted to impact people's lives in a meaningful way. Yeah, mental health was just something that I really cared about. I was a student nurse within this trust and I felt like they've looked after my development so they've shaped me as a student. They made sure that I was well looked after and that I was given the developmental opportunities that I needed to get where I am now as a, as a team manager. You know, this is where I have grown as a nurse as well from Band 5. Band 6, ward manager. I'm now more than that. Since I've been here, I've been given the opportunity to progress through various roles and work with different types of people to further educate myself. I started three and a half years ago as a staff nurse and here I am as a manager. So there is a lot of opportunities. Career progression, it is the, all the support, the teaching, the mentoring. I do a lot of leadership psychological treatment skills which is, is very satisfying uh, as a nurse and I have to say this was my direction this is what I wanted to be. We have the balance of work and life outside. The positive culture that is within this organization towards these individuals who can be quite challenging and threatening towards us is actually quite amazing. It can come with challenges so it's really important for us as staff to look out for each other. Came down to the ward I could see that the patient was so agitated. My job was to come in, take the team aside, let them know that I'm here to support them. Let them understand the aspects of leadership and containment. And that patient there, we are going to support them no matter how scared they are, we are going to help them through this process. You've got to be there with the patients, full 100% full there with them. Where sometimes we have to challenge things that might seem a little bit difficult, but we have to do that as nurses and we have to look out for the patients. And we've managed to change uh, Ealing Southall Mint from a team that was struggling a little bit now to be one of the finalists within the Trust Quality Awards for a Team of the Year. 
And that's something that I feel really proud of and that I've been able to take a lead role within the Trust, uh, within Southall, to help the nurses uh, do what they need to do in, in helping uh, vulnerable people in the community. I don't really think I've got a typical day. I think every day is completely different. I can tell you that there is not a morning that I've woken up and I've dreaded coming to work. People think I'm crazy because I live in East London, but every day I take that long drive to come to West London NHS Trust and back. I love spending time with my patients. I love being based on the ward and helping them get through the day. And West London in particular is a gold standard in terms of how an organisation supports and looks after its workforce. So even though I've had various offers from different quarters, I remain. NHS Trust can provide a lot of things that money cannot buy. I would definitely recommend a career in the NHS, especially with West London. I think of the ward team as a family. We just all work so closely as a team together. We're just so supportive of each other. It's worth it to be working here, working with the fantastic staff, the fantastic leaders, and working with the communities of West London. Come and join us.